So now we are going to start with the nucleic acids. Nucleic acids are actually the polymers. We will say that they are actually the giant polymers. They are actually the polymers and they are responsible for biosynthesis of proteins and they are responsible for the transfer of hereditary characters. They are trans, uh, responsible for the hereditary of uh, transfer of hereditary characters. So as far nucleic acids are concerned, so we have basically two nucleic acids. One is DNA, other is RNA. Their complete name is deoxyribonucleic acid and this is ribonucleic acid. If we talk about the size, uh, DNA is comparatively large and RNA is comparatively small in size. So we will see that uh, these two both of them are actually a both of them are actually a polymer, polymers and they are made up of small monomeric units. As you know that polymer is made up of monomers, the small unit is and that unit is something called as nucleotide. That unit is called as nucleotide. So now we will see that what actually is nucleotide. We see that nucleotide actually consists of uh, three things. It consists of a sugar and which sugar? Typically a pentose one. It consists of phosphoric acid or a phosphate group also you can say and it contains nitrogenous bases. It contains nitrogenous bases. So DNA and RNA are both are formed of these three things that is the sugar, pentose sugar, the phosphoric acid and the nitrogenous bases. If we talk of the sugar, the sugar which is present in DNA is deoxyribose and the sugar which is present in RNA is ribose. And if we talk about their structure, their structure is typically like this, same for this, we have groups here CH2OH, H, OH, NH, H and OH, H and OH. This is H and H in case of deoxyribose. And when we talk about ribose, it is again COH and H, CH to OH and H, H and OH, H and OH. In ribose, there is H and OH, there is only a difference that here the O is missing. So this is what is the sugar which is present in DNA and RNA. And if we talk about nitrogenous bases, they are further of two types. They are classified into purines and pyrimidines. They are classified into purines and pyr uh, pyrimidines and purines and pyrimidines actually bond with each other. So what are purines actually? Purines are like there are two types of purines. One is adenine, another is guanine abbreviated as A, abbreviated as G. Pyrimidine is thymine and cytosine abbreviated as T, abbreviated as C. We will see that adenine always pair up with T with double bond and guanine always pair up with the cytosine that is with triple bond. But in case of uh, like this is present in DNA but if we talk about the RNA, in RNA instead of cytosine we have sorry, in RNA instead of thymine we have another pyrimidine that is uracil. We have uracil abbreviated as U. So in DNA these kind of nitrogen pairing you will see and in RNA you will see a pairing like this. The only difference lies is the difference in the thymine and the uracil. Otherwise the, uh, uh, the bases are going to pair up in the same way that is purines are going to pair up with the pyrimidines with double or triple bond. Right. So this is what is the basic introduction of nucleic acid. I think you got it that what is the function of nucleic acid? They are actually polymers and their function is to buy for the, uh, the help in the biosynthesis of proteins and also they are responsible of transfer of hereditary characters from parents to offspring.
So we have two kinds of nucleic acid. One is DNA deoxyribonucleic acid, other is RNA ribonucleic acid. It is bigger, it is smaller in size. Both are polymers formed of monomeric unit nucleotide. What is nucleotide? It consists of pentose, sugar, phosphoric acid and nitrogen base. Nitrogen bases are two types, purines and pyrimidines, adenine, guanine, purines, thymine, cytosine, uh, this thing, pyrimidines, thymine replaced by uracil in RNA and the sugar if we talk about is deoxyribose, this is the structure and for RNA it is ribose and this is the structure. Purines always pair up with pyrimidines and uh, adenine always pair up with thymine or uracil with double bond or guanine always pair up with cytosine or you can say cytosine always pair up with guanine with triple hydrogen bond. So this is what is the nucleic acid. Now we will start with the DNA model that was given by, uh, that is the famous model actually for which the, uh, the Watson and Crick was uh, awarded nobly also. So we are going to just start with that model. 